Shambhu was an old farmer who owned a piece of land measuring four hectares. He knew that his four sons hated mathematics. He wanted them to realize the importance of learning mathematics. So he made his will accordingly. After his death, Shambhu's will was read. As per the will, his land was to be divided amongst his four sons in the manner shown. His sons read the will and were confused. They thought it was unfair that their father had not divided the land equally. They asked a wise man in the village to explain them their father's will. Your father has divided the land equally. Let me explain to you how. Look at this table. These are the standard units of measurement of length. It's called the metric system. A unit of measure is ten times more than the unit to its right, but ten times less than the unit to its left. The meter is the most commonly used unit of measuring length. To convert meters to decimeters, we multiply the unit by 10, since the decimeter column is one place to the right of the meter column. To convert meters to kilometers, we divide the unit by 1000, since the kilometer column is three places to the left of the meter column. Suppose we want to convert 56 decameters to centimeters, we'll need to multiply 56 by 1000, as the centimeter column appears three places to the right of the decameter column. But if we want to convert 56 decameters to hectometers, we need to divide 56 by 10, as the hectometer column appears one place to the left of the decameter column. Now that you know about the standard units of measure and their interconversion, let me tell you about the unit hectares. In India, large areas of land are measured in a metric unit known as hectare. One hectare is equal to one square hectometer. Now, let's get back to Shambhu's will. As per the will, Dinesh should get 10,000 square meters of land. Assuming that Dinesh's plot will be square shaped, the sides of the plot will be 100 meters each. As the area of a square is the product of its sides, the area of Dinesh's plot of land is 100 meters into 100 meters. Now, you know that 100 meters is equal to 1 hectometer. Substituting the value in the equation, we get the area of Dinesh's plot as 1 square hectometer or 1 hectare. So, Dinesh, your father has given you 10,000 square meters of land, which is the same as one hectare. Now, Mahesh, your father has willed you 10 hundred-thousand square decimeters of land. Assuming that the plot is square-shaped, the length of its sides is 1,000 decimeters each. Since 1,000 decimeters is also equal to 1 hectometer, the area of the land will be 1 square hectometer or 1 hectare. So Mahesh also gets 1 hectare of land. Ramesh gets an area of 0 0.01 square kilometer. If the plot is square shaped, the sides of the plot are 0.1 kilometer each. 
since 0.1 kilometer is equal to 1 hectometer, the area of the land will be 1 square hectometer or 1 hectare. Thus, Ramesh 2 gets 1 hectare of land. Suresh gets 100 square decameters of land. So, if the plot is square shaped, the length of its sides will be 10 decameters each. Now, 10 decameters is equal to 1 hectometer. So, we can say that 100 square decameters is equal to 1 square hectometer or 1 hectare. So, Suresh, like your brothers, you too get 1 hectare of land. Now, do you realize that your father has been fair in dividing the land? If only you knew mathematics, you would not have to worry about your share of the land.